G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So, I'm a KFC and here's the deal. Today, we're going to make a skyscraper burger. Well, that's what I'm actually calling it. It's not actually a new burger at KFC. You know I like to pimp things out and do a little bit of outrageous burgers and stuff like that. I'm not going to tell you too much about it yet. I'll circle back to you after I get these things that I'm going to make it with. But um, I will let you in on one little secret before we get started. It's going to have three zinger fillets now guys a little while ago i asked for 700 likes on a video it's failing miserably but you know what that's okay because i don't give up that easy so i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna try and get that 700 likes now if you would eat three zinger fillets on a burger hit that like button now and let's get this to 700 and I know you guys there's going to be at least 700 people or more who would eat three zinger fillets on a burger I'm going to order this thing, go through, grab it. I'm not going to muck around too much. We'll go and park somewhere and we'll check it out. And then I'll tell you more about this amazing burger that I'm about to make. It's going to be totally eats well. See you soon. And away we go. What do we got? We got... I see the name on it. <laughs> oh, actually, that's... We got off the secret menu. We've got the Tower Burger Double. Actually, wrong way around. We've got off the secret menu. We've got the Tower Burger Double. And the Tower Burger. Zinger Tower and Zinger Tower Double. So, what we're going to do here is First of all, I'll show you this guy. All up cost me $16.90. This one, $8.95. Don't you just love the way those zingers hang out? You love to see it. We've done all this before, but I'll give you a, a little quick run through. We've got lettuce, hash brown, the tangy sauce, the mayonnaise, zinger fillet, of course, so I can smell that sauce. It's so saucy. And zinger coating falling off everywhere. Don't want to waste that. And it's all falling out everywhere. <laughs> Good thing we got the tray. And we got the Zinger Tower Double. Now I've tried both of these before. There's your Zinger again with the hash brown. Two Zinger fillets. Cheese. I forgot to mention cheese. Cheese on the other one too. We got cheese. I just noticed because it's sticking together. Sauce, mayo. Tangy sauce, there's your cheese on that side, probably can see it there. And guess what? This is going to be so messy and no serviettes. Let me check the glove box. Alright, we got serviettes. I'm going to need them already. And today's beverage, in case I need to kickstart my heart after being in a zinger coma, which could happen the way this is going, this could be it. It could be all over after this one. We've got Red Bull Red Edition Watermelon, but we'll get back to that in a minute. So this one, $7.95, the off the secret menu of course, we all pretty much know that now. And this one, $8.95, just on the regular menu. Now, what we're going to have here is we're going to have three Zinger fillets, as I mentioned. Don't forget those thumbs up, not that sort of thumbs up with um, mayo on it. 700 thumbs up guys, don't forget. Um, we're going to have two hash browns, three zinger fillets, lettuce. It's going to be a super spreader of sauce because there's going to be two lots of each sauce. Now, without further ado, I reckon we should build this thing, especially before all this bloody lettuce falls off. So what I was thinking here too was, we'll pop the lid. <laughs> Look at that, it's very red. Pop the lid. Now the good thing about this is, this one doesn't have any buns, so we can just slide it on in. Isn't it just great when you can just slide it in? Look at that, now that's humongous. <laughs> now, of course, you know what's going to happen here. We're going to really struggle, well I'm going to struggle, to get my laughing gear around that one. Look at that thing. What a monster. Now, this is why we're calling it a skyscraper. Now, that's even bigger than that thing on the 
than that triple stacker, I reckon, because it's got that hash browns in it. So three zingers, two hash browns, two lots of cheese, four lots of sauce, two tangy tomato and two mayo, and lettuce. Show you from this side. Now, I could say without further ado, let's tuck in, but I'm going to say without further ado, let's see if I can get my bloody mouth around this. Of course, we know I can't. I need a flip top head to get that one in my mouth. Let's give it a crack. You know with three zinger fillets in there, it's going to taste good. It's a little bit different with the hash browns, in a good way. The problem is trying to keep it all together and getting your mouth around it. I might actually eat the zinger off this side, sticking out would be easier. <laughs> Beautiful. It's slip and I'm loving it. And I'm giving it five out of five for taste. It's beautiful. I guess with something like this, you know it's going to be great before you even try it. Just the thought of it is great. So chicken overload here, but it is a beauty. It is a winner winner chicken burger. So that is hyper infectious. It's fantastic. But starting to fall apart a bit. I probably could do with a knife and fork at this stage. <laughs> Plenty of sauce going everywhere. I love that tomato sauce. It's very tangy tomato sauce, very nice. falling off so it'll make it easy to eat the whole thing won't it? Bit of hash brown. And the zinger fillets are super juicy. <laughs> They're almost as super juiced as I am. So as usual we've got our Domino's cup. This is like a little shot 250ml of uh, Red Bull. Now, like I said, I'm going to need it probably to kickstart my heart. I'm actually getting into a state of zinger coma at the moment. We better crack this open and get me revived. Let's check it out. Yes, look at that. Beautiful colour. Yeah, I love to see it. I love to smell it too. It's actually quite strong, that smell. I can smell it. It's got a full-on smell. Yamas. I can't wait to get into this one. Now, once I smelled that, I was super excited to give that a crack and have a sip. But I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's, um, it's not that great. But with that being said, I have tried Red Bull in the past and I've never been that mad about it. I prefer the mothers and all that sort of thing that we've been doing recently. It's... It's okay, but considering how good it looks and how strong it smelt, it doesn't taste that great. So for that reason, I'll probably give it about a 2 out of 5. I wouldn't get it again. Just having a red can isn't going to get me in. But, and I think I picked it up for about $2.15. It was 2 for $4.30. So again, the one for that, I'll probably give it about 4 out of 5. I guess that's not too bad. At the supermarket... So guys, let's get back into this thing. Now I've revived. Let's get into this. Oh, it's just so messy. Oh. <laughs> it's well. That's our skyscraper burger. My little invention from KFC. If you're willing to shell out 
sixteen dollars ninety for that burger. I think, in all things considered, putting that together and what it is and what it's worth, I reckon it's the pretty decent burger. So I'll probably give that for taste. Well, I've already given that five, didn't I? It's lit. I'm giving it five out of five for taste. For value, I'll probably still give it about a four. It's not bad for that price, I reckon. Especially with all those zingers, it cost you about twelve bucks if you just bought. Well, roughly twelve bucks if you just bought th th three single zingers. So guys, that's the end of the Zinger skyscraper or KFC. I'll call it. That's what we'll call it. The KFC Zinger skyscraper. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget this thumbs up thing because we're going for seven hundred again. Hopefully, we won't fail this time. But you know, it's a big ask. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have already, I love you all. I really do appreciate it. You guys are tops. I love what, the way you comment and all that sort of thing. So keep up the good work. And remember, can never be too Aussie. Hooroo. Let's have another go. It's getting a little bit easier. Stay fresh.